In this how-to tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a slide transition and sound within PowerPoint. Please know a slide transition shows the viewer how they move from one slide to the next slide. It's recommended not to use overpowering slide transitions as it distracts the viewer. In addition, I'm also going to address how to add sounds for customization. Let's begin. In this model, one is able to see how it is used as a template-driven slideshow. Please note there are no text added to these slides intentionally. The purpose of that is to show greater focus on the transition versus being distraction on the content in the form of text and or images. Okay, in order to add transitions, one must go to the top toolbar and click on Transitions. When clicking on Transition, a new toolbar will show up and you have the opportunity to select from a wide variety. For instance, you can click Cut, Fade, Push, Wipe, Split, Reveal. Random bars suggest the computer generates it every time there's a different slideshow as a different animation or transition. Shape, Uncover, Cover, Flash, Dissolve, Checkboard. Please note some of these transitions are highly visually engaging, so you don't want to use it on every single slide. If you use the scroll down button, you're also able to unravel different ones, such as blinds, clock, ripple, honeycomb, glitter, and several more. In addition, you also have the option to click on effect options. Look, if I click on box and then go to effect options, I'm able to see I can have it coming from the right, from the bottom, from the left, and from the top. And this is where the animations come in. Depending on which transition you choose, these effect options are either added and or limited. Next, if one scrolls further to the right hand side, you'll see the word sound. Sound provides an engaging experience for the viewer and or presenter. Please note too much sound is a distraction. When I click on sound in the drop down, I'm able to see words such as applause or cash register or click So here I'm able to see various different types of sounds and can import them within my presentation. Once again, it's strongly suggested that you don't use these too often. Next, you're also able to see the duration. How long would you like the sound to take place? And you can make it small or you can go as long as you desire. Okay, let's take a look on how to add other transitions. On slide two, I'm going to add what's known as the switch. Here, for me, suggests a new concept. Other transitions, such as flip, might be the same concept but elaborated. Same thing with galleries. So please note when it comes to transitions, as a designer, one is able to use it as a means to know to change topics or a continuation of topics. Please note transitions such as the dissolve may be too much for every single transition, in addition to the checkerboard. Okay, now we're all set with adding slide transition as well as sound. To view your transitions and or sound, one must be in the slideshow, view, and then click on from beginning. Here's slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, which looks like a flash, and last but not least, slide five. Thank you for joining the video on how to add a slide transition and sound within your PowerPoint.